Hey everyone, welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. We will be playing uh, the first Bull Run battle. If I recall, it is a very long battle in several stages. Uh, so we're going to put it all in one video. And uh, hopefully we come out on top. I was able to get a victory in the easy mode, but uh, normal mode seems quite a bit different. Um, so we'll see how it all works out. But I'm going to go ahead and save this real quick, just in case. Just in case everything goes to crap and I gotta make this video again. Let's see. Back. Alright, so back to the battle map. We got the first bull run here. The Confederate Army of PGT Beauregard has deployed south of Bull Run River to guard Manassas Railroad Junction. From the other side, Brig General Irvin McDowell is looking for a weak point to attack. Your forces will join McDowell and help him to initiate an attack on the left flank of the Confederate Army. Oh yeah, I, I, this is all coming back to me. I, this uh, this is quite a long, complicated battle. So, so yeah, that that's our group right there. Go ahead and start this. The rebels are guarding the Manassas Railroad Junction with strong forces, a few miles east of his location. Bull Run River is defended by several CSA brigades, and forcing our way through could be risky. It is advised to initiate a faint attack on this bridge with a small amount of regiments. Meanwhile, back in the Batcave, our main force can pass the river here and attack the left flank of the Confederate Army. If we act fast, the rebels will have no time to reinforce the area and will be forced off the field. Then we will move east and deal the final blow. We can end the war today, General. Good luck. Can we now? General, we are ready to execute our diversionary attack on the Stone Bridge. Super. Yay. Alright, some rebel regiments are guarding this area. Advance with caution. They should put a narrator in a game that talks like that. People be like, yeah, it's a really good game, but what the is up with that? In about an hour, our divisions will arrive and launch a full-scale attack on their flank. Everything's in about an hour. You know, it's just the way it was in the Civil War. They didn't have minutes on uh, watches. It was hours. Until then, keep the rebels busy. Good luck, General. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... No, we're not going to go ahead and pause it because these guys are still entering the field. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Computer. So, let's take these four guys and send them down her. And we're gonna put this guy over this way. Just to sort of guard these guys from anyone trying to cross the river here. So, yeah, we got to capture this hill here. And then after this part is over, then we got to come down through here and across the, this little river here. And then up up here, it's not on the map yet, but we'll have to capture that. And, uh, and that is the very difficult part. This beginning, uh, you know, and, and capturing this, this hill here, not such a big deal. I guess this is Matthew's Hill. But uh, getting this bridge and then getting the stuff below is, uh, is quite complicated. So we are in position. Let's move these guys up just a little bit. And let's, let's get you guys over her. So that way we can pop them over this ridge when the time is right and take a peek and see what's over there, if anything. So we're just kind of waiting for our units to show up over here. I'm just going to go and get some eyes on this bridge and see what's there. See if it's skirmishers or... You know, that's the thing about this game is is uh, everything's different depending on what happened in the previous battle or what you do on the battlefield. You know, it can, uh, it can vary. It's a dynamic kind of situation and uh yep see that's why i put these guys over here tell you what hurry up get there and these 
these guys, we, we definitely want to see. Oh, that hurt. I got hurt a little bit, but they got really hurt. No bueno. Let's see what we got here. We're not going to keep these guys here for long. We just want to see what they got here. And it appears to be nothing. So, yeah, let's freaking go, man. Go, go, go. Oh, no, they got something there. <laughs> just couldn't see him at first. Run, 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 run. So, yeah, well, these these uh, dragoons crest the hill here. And you're in for a world of hurt. Although, I think they got the better of me on that one. Let's get back across. Get that river between us. For a minute there, I was like, oh, man, it's undefended. But last second we saw those guys. That would have been awesome. In an easy mode. Yeah, come on across this river. I dare ya. I freaking dare ya. I don't think, I think, they've got rifles or something, I believe, so we should be able to melee them pretty dang good. Hey, cannons, watch out. There are friendlies here. Reminds me of that scene in uh, Braveheart when he's, like, telling the archers to go ahead and lead the, lead the flanking attack. What? Yeah, he's telling him, yeah, f tell the archers to f go ahead and fire. And he's like, yeah, but you'll hit our troops. He's like, yeah, but we'll hit ours, theirs too. You know? Let's see. Oh, there's some units there. Pull them back. All right, come on, General YouTube. Well, let's not get way ahead. Oh, people are yelling. What are they yelling about? Nothing. So, yeah, one of the things I find with moving your... Um, core around is uh, if you do have skirmishers by default uh, there there aren't any formations in this which is you know I mentioned Empire Total War in the other video like that's something Empire Total War had and something I wish this game had but uh, it will always put your skirmishers at the front of the line and so um, and they do move and they do move quite a bit quicker than um, than uh, your other soldiers so they will just run way out like my general is doing here and if you're not paying attention, uh, they'll get snagged by somebody and killed, you know, so. Who's shooting? Who is shooting? Looks like we routed their cavalry, so that's good. Let's get our cavalry back down here. Now, we're going to have his... Are these mine? Yeah, these are mine. These are the rest of my units. Gonna go ahead and get these guys up there. Get these guys up here. Then I know that we'll have some other support here shortly. Looks like they've moved their cannons, right? 
I mean, they should be already showing here, but they're not. Let's see if we can keep them spotted from here. Let our artillery fire at them for a bit. Yeah, it looks like they've moved their artillery somewhere else. Which uh, is a good thing. It could be a good thing. <laughs> There's some of their cavalry still running around. Like, hell, yeah, we got to get out of here. Now, what we want to do is get these guys down here like so. <clears throat> Why are my cannons not firing on these guys? Fire! Fire! That's what you're there for. Alright, so here comes our big brothers. Let's get these guys right up her. And then we'll get Franklin and Wilcox up in this area. Alright. Well, we had 812 units before. We still have 812, so it doesn't look like they're um, they're doing much here. Let's uh, let's get a look. Let's see if we can't get a peek at what's over here, if anything. There we go. We've got some cover there. Only 50%. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can't make some headway on this crossing here. All right. So let's get. No. Oh. What? Come on. Position. I hear some fighting going on. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's get our cavalry across if we can. All right. Let's so we're hoping for another volley so we could try and get across. And if we can, we can get around back with them forcing the route. Which would be the ideal situation. Run! Run away! Oh no! No! I hate when they do that. No, Chris, see how they're crisscrossing? Like you know why? Why? Yeah. So many games, you know, Paradox games are like that. Total War it happens all the time, and you just think to yourself, like, is it really that hard to figure out how to prevent them from doing that? You know, I don't know. Or maybe I just like to complain a lot. Maybe that's all there is to it. General YouTube. Let's get these guys down over here. Get some eyes from the south. General Beauregard is overseeing the defense. Hampton's elite brigade should be nearby. Let's get these guys forward. Let's, whoops. No, don't do that. Dang it. <laughs> now they're crossing again. Okay, somehow they, they stopped crossing. Great. Stop. Shop. All right. Yeah! Lots of carnage, lots of... Oh, yeah, I forgot about my cavalry over here. That was probably not smart. Looks like... Actually, yeah, maybe I can... Oh, skirmishers. No! Oh, more skirmishers. Get out! Run away while you still can! 
Or, or, capture some supplies. Come on, Mr. Beauregard. We got business to attend to here. Whoops. There we go. Supplies surrendered. Yay. Hopefully I can get them over to my troops. Let's see. Let's get have him go right up like that. We'll scout this. Sherman is ready to cross the bridge. It should be lightly defended now. Okay. Let's have him go rot her. Rebels withdraw to Henry Hill. General, we outnumber the enemy. We can, must keep pushing forward. The Confederates are establishing their defenses on top of the hill near Henry's farm. General Jackson has been spotted with fresh troops coming from the south. We must break the hills defenses before the arrival of rebel reinforcements. Await your awaiting your orders to attack. Okay, well let's just pause it real quick. Uh, we haven't exactly taken this. Although it seems like we're pretty dang close to doing it. Um so yeah, these guys, they need to get, whoops, they need to get down here. And then we'll see how this plays out. we got to run this unit off here. We've got our cavalry needs to move forward so we can get eyes on the other side of this uh, hill. I thought they were on the, on the ridge crest, but apparently not. And uh, yeah, we got to get these units, all these guys here. Need to move them. We need to move them across the freaking river. Why did we not get the artillery with that? We need. Why is this not picking up the artillery? Hmm. I don't know. Whoops. There we go. That's what we want. Now we may end up rushing these guys across. Oh, I think I just canceled the order. There you go. And here is our scouts who are under heavy attack. Let's get our supplies. We'll have them go here. We'll have our scouts go there as well. And then they can rendezvous with this unit coming down. I just love that word, rendezvous. It's so much fun. Up, get make sure all these guys are fully supplied before we start pushing. So it looks pretty clear back here. Um, we may have, we do have an opportunity to maybe mess with some guys real quick. But before we do that, let's pause this real quick. I normally don't pause a whole lot, but. Right now in this situation, I feel like it's kind of necessary. So yeah, we're going to keep pushing. So there's Henry Hill. We're going to have them push right through here. Whoops. Yeah, that looks good. Now, you guys, which, does that include? Yeah, it does. So we have to select them manually. I have them push down here like so. All right, We've got our cavalry doing the business. <clears throat> we got, there they are. Oh, I think I'm gonna get blasted. Nope, not bad, not too shabby. Take a couple out at a time, not too bad. Looks like they're trying to get out of here now. Let's see if we can't get. Stewart's cavalry is going for our right. 
My right, your right, his right. This must be the cavalry they were talking about. Yeah, Stuart. Run! Run! Oh, did they get their supplies back? They must. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Oh, well. It wasn't meant to be. But it was definitely a good effort. And it definitely shows the, uh, you know, the usefulness of cavalry. You know, you can actually, uh, can actually really wreak havoc on, on their uh, back lines on YouTube. What the hell is going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a lot of gunfire. Right, you need to hurry up, buddy. We ain't got all day. Right. Get these guys up and just charge them. Get off a full volley and then initiate a charge. So, I know I've been kind of silent here, probably not the most entertaining video, but uh, I'm thinking, I'm concentrating very, very focused. It's very stressful, all this stuff. Alright, now, you guys need to get forward. Let's get generally, I mean, our cavalry over. All right, so we've got our cavalry here. Let's see if we can't find some interesting stuff to screw with. Anything, anything? Nothing yet. Let's go after these dudes here. Good for this situation here. 900 on 1800. Oh, 
do have some... I know there's some cannons up here, though. I don't want to get canister blasted in the face. That's for sure. All right, come on. Get across on top of the hill. You guys need to continue your push. Looks like we held up pretty well there. I think uh, combination or the triangulation of gunfire and then uh, the fact that we've got their flanks. I think, um, I think we only took minimal losses there. Not too bad. No, don't charge. I don't want you to charge. I double clicked on accident. Please forgive me. Got an ammo situation over there. Let's go ahead and get this guy here for the moment. And get those cannons up on top of the hill there. Making a fine mess of things here. Keep on pushing. This guy needs to disappear. There he goes. All right, so something like that. Get a volley off on these cannons. Hope we don't get a canister blast in the face. It's always a concern, right? I tell you what, why not take that shot right there and, and not risk the canister blast to the face? Come on, slow pokes, you can do it. Where is this? Sorry, our supplies did make it across. Move them. Where are you going? Getting a little messy over here. Let them run over there. Yeah, so hopefully we can push this guy out of this, uh, you know, in camp posi position there, and then we can we can uh, grab the flag because time is uh, running down. We'll go ahead and charge this guy. And then work on the artillery there because I don't want to be getting canister shot at over and over. Come on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got this. Everybody just hang back. I got this. Alright, let's have them charge the artillery there. You guys need to clear them out as well. Let's get up in the fight. Get 
Giving her a volley off on these artillery. Looks like we're gonna take this just in the nick of time. Then we're gonna have to deal with the pushback. up like that get these guys right in the front here we do want to secure that tree line over there this this tree line here because uh, it's gonna be a defensible position for the next phase and we definitely are going to want that Get this guy forward. Get this unit forward as well. So we are going to stick them over there. So I don't know about you guys. Uh, Empire Total War. I kind of had a system where, you know, I spread my line out real wide. And then uh, as they start charging the middle, you know, you kind of collapse the sides around them and form like a U-shape, which... I mean, it just seems like uh, it works out real well. And, and I found myself in this game doing a similar kind of strategy. All right, so the Confederates counterattack. General, our men are exhausted from the continuous fight. More rebels are coming. We should stop or advance and hold our ground. Yeah, sounds good to me, bro. Broski. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put them right here. Let's have them charge. We need to clear this out. Put you guys there. Y'all will be there in reserves. Put you in this field. Actually, no. We'll put you in the field, and you will hang in reserve. Cannons. Let's get you guys up here. And then these cannons we can put over here. And then you guys... Um, you know what? Why don't you guys move up as well where's our supplies here's our supplies let's get those forward definitely don't want to be running out of supplies here where's our other general i thought we had somebody else coming to help or did he is this a, no that's our scouts get forward where's our other general i thought like franklin was coming to help i guess he was like ah, i'll let you handle this I cheated my way through uh, Military Academy anyway. Get away from there. Let's put these guys up on the hill there. I think they're kind of down in a valley. Those are some captured. We'll send them back. All right. So we got two hours, 45 minutes to hold this hill. I think we can handle it. It's like we leave the flag right out in front of us to say, yeah, yeah, come and get it. You got this. Come on in. See, this is what I mean. You know, sort of collapsing the sides in on them. And you can, um, you know, start to get that flank, you know. And, uh, no, 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 no. Don't charge. What the hell are you doing? They got a mind of their own here. That's happened a couple times so far. I've seen a charge that I, I don't think I ordered. I mean, I must have, but I, I don't know how. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is nasty. Coming at us over that way. I guess they don't like our cavalry very much. I can't say I blame them.
Very interesting fight. Sure is pretty. It sure is pretty. Looks like we got a couple of generals that like know what they're doing, which couldn't be any further from the truth. So. No, no, no! Don't charge him! What the hell are you doing? That's the second time they. D I had nothing to do with that. He charged on his own. Come on, get your shot off and get out. Oh well, it looks like they're not turning to face me, so might as well just keep shooting at them. Howard here is getting great. All right, Howard, let's clear these guys out first. Looks like Barto here is coming in to engage me, which ain't gonna happen. Pull back. Looks like they're fleeing. I don't blame them. This thing is all pretty crazy. Where is our other cavalry? Oh, we sent them over there, right? We can go around back here. That's pretty cool, too, the way that you draw, you know, these, these maneuvers like that. I mean, I've never seen that in another game before. And the first time I experienced it, I was like, what the hell is going on? This is silly, but, I mean, it's just, it's so cool, you know, and I, I just, I can't believe that this is the first time I've seen that. Let's get some ammo to our artillery out here. Where's our other supply? All right, let's get them over here. Make sure everybody's taken care of. All right, you give him the ammo. He is supplying himself as we speak. Now the reason we brought our scouts over here is because we got some supplies sitting here all by the lonesome. And it would be nice to have a third supply cart. Uh-oh, we got some wounded uh, officers here. Yep, there we go. Let's get these guys. Make sure you guys can go and supply our artillery over there. Kill Beauregard. Why aren't you killing him? Can you not kill him? Well, maybe because they're scouts, they don't have they don't have any offensive capability or something. I don't know. No, you get back here. Where is our other cavalry? Oh, they got ran off. <laughs> That's fine. Major Melvin Carr is wounded. Well, I suppose it's better than being killed. Right? This is definitely made a fine mess of this. Wanting to, oh, he wants me to play the division, I'm sure. I don't want to play the division. Oh, man, they're pissed. Don't want to bring them towards my artillery, so let's just freaking go that way. Yeah, that is not good. We're going to have to reroute some guys over there, I think. Well, 
Hey, 200 guys are marked. That's some brave 200 guys right there. Come on, get out of sight. Get out of sight. There we go. So they're charging into the abyss. Just gonna get these guys situated here just in case. You know, you don't want to be, um, get these guys on the. Right, this, this supply uh, cart is now empty, which is a okay. General YouTube is doing a fine job here today. Let's see if we can't find these guys. Uh, hopefully they turn back. Hopefully they turn back the way they came and not towards our rear. There they are. Let's go and get some oh shit. Our other supply, all our supply carts are empty. We have, yep, yeah, we have some in the uh, Confederate supply cart. Yeah, they're going to start falling back. They're surrounded. <laughs> yeah, they really hate my cavalry. You can see how the cavalry, you know, works. It, it um, you know, it, it makes a mess of the situation. Oh, man, they're routing? Yeah, they, did they route? You guys stay right here. Yeah, looking pretty good. We got an hour and ten minutes left. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to do anything about this situation. And then I'm not sure if there's another stage to this. I think this might be it, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong like once or twice in my life about something, you know, but it doesn't happen often. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm not that arrogant. <laughs> Almost that arrogant, though, but not quite. Not quite. These guys are getting wrecked. They're just getting wrecked. And they're, they're retreating. It doesn't look like they're doing anything. They're not reloading. They're not firing. They're just sitting there getting wrecked, which is fine. The less troops that they have, the merrier. Let's go ahead and get some shots going on the, the actual threat here, which is this guy who's still shooting at us. Yeah, you guys need to, if you got to move forward, move forward. Just do what you got to do. We are running out of ammo here. Oh, we're actually out of ammo, so let's go get some more. We'll go all the way over here. Let's move. Actually, yeah, we'll go over by General YouTube and we'll rendezvous there. How's that? Let's get a volley off quick. Oh, they're not reloaded yet.
can't wait to see the death toll after this thing, man. This is a monster. You know, if, if you look at these units while they're reloading, and you didn't know anything about warfare or muskets, what would you think these guys are doing? Just saying. Are they shooting dice? Alright, so we're getting ammo, getting resupplied here. Yeah, I've been wondering if, if, if units get supplied while the supply cart is moving past, or did it have to be sitting still? And uh, it looks like I just got my question answered. They, they do, they are getting refilled while it's, while it's moving, so that's good. Good to know. Good to know. Very good, sir. Let's get some arty going on these guys. He's out of ammo again? Jeez. I mean, they suck it down, don't they? Let's get our cavalry back. Kicking butt over here. On our flank. Only got 35 minutes left. Our commander, the general, actually came out onto the field. How about that? Looks like they got two here. They got Johnson and they got Beauregard. I don't know where Beauregard ran off, but he's hiding somewhere. I love how you can issue orders like that, you know. It was just so cool. You know what I mean? Because, like, in um, like Total War... You've got to set waypoints, you know, you can hold down shift and click and click and click and set a bunch of waypoints and they make angle turns, but with this you can actually uh, set a, a nice curve, you know, around kind of like a, um, kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a screen pass in a football game or something like that. You can have them peel around with in an arc. It's just neat. So... I don't know which one of these are mine. This one might be, yeah, this is one of mine here. Uh, these second Ohio and second New York obviously are not. So, you know, I'd like for, I'd like for my troops not to be the ones getting their butts kicked, you know, but it's just the way it worked out here. You know, we're taking pretty heavy casualties, but such is war. Glad we got this uh, Confederate supply wagon here, you know? Oh, these guys are rushing in. I don't think that's a smart move there, bud. I think you're going to get wrecked. Yep. Dude, they just got destroyed. They lost like 250 men in that little charge they did. All right, guys, let's back off. We don't need to chase them down here. Back in position. Supply cart. Whoops. I don't know one that. Let's get him over there. Or do, no, we're out here too. All right. We've got only nine minutes left to go, and then I think we can call this thing a V. Right, these guys have totally just ran off. minutes to go and I think this is it I don't know if there's another part to this but I think this is it whoops still got that whole total war clicking thing it's like I have a hard t oh, oh no 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 stop 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 oh, 
they going? I didn't order them over there. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and finish it. I'm not going to keep. All right. So here's the stats. We've got General YouTube versus Thomas Jackson, Beauregard, and Johnston. Johnston. Right. Infantry 21, 20,000. Pretty evenly matched. About the same amount of cavalry. We had some more guns than they did. Uh, so look, 4,100 infantry casualties versus 12,000 of theirs. That is pretty freaking awesome. We actually managed to take out about three times the amount of troops, which is way better than I did on easy. Um, so casualties, 327 casualties. We also snagged 580, uh, um, you know, uh, POWs. So we got uh, victory here, Henry Hill. Um, yeah, it's both. Let's see. Our elite life riflemen. Look at these stats. I mean, this is with the Lorenz cannon and, uh, you know, veteran units that we upgraded. 1,300 kills, 386 losses. Pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know who Zook is one of ours. 1,200 kills, 257 losses. Definitely looking good there. Some of our units did really awesome. Uh, I'm sure they were the ones that were in cover. Um, so it, then our cavalry here, 654 to 43. Very nice. Um, very good overall. Officers, so we had one officer wounded, two, three, four officers wounded. Uh, several of our officers got promoted. And uh, our, let's see what we got. We captured 85 of these, four of those, 1,300 farmer rifles, 1,200 rebore farmers, which aren't that bad, you know, if you need something to just throw at your units. And then we uh, rescued uh, some of these off our downed broskies. Um, so, yeah, that's a pretty good fight. So uh, we're going to go ahead and call it here when we pick up. Um, in the next video, what we'll do is um, the War Service Medal. 500 prisoners exchange for 1,000 additional recruits. Cool. Org Army organization plus one. Nice. We just got that. Um, yeah, we we just wrecked them there. That was a pretty serious battle. Um, so anyway, we're going to pick it up. We're, in the next video, we'll be replacing these guys. We'll be upgrading our units. We'll be adding another core, and, you know, we'll just keep, you know, going from where we are. So thanks to everyone who watched the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything specific you want to see, let me know, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.